Hey guys, this is Jire, and I'm going to be showing you three ways to get a Fendiga. First way is downloading it from our community. The second way is downloading it from our GitHub repository. And the third way is actually checking it out from our repository and building from source. Let me show you guys all three of these things. The first method, simply visit our site, scroll down a little bit, and hit download. You're going to use this archive. And you can go ahead and make a new folder. And all you have to do is extract that content into that folder. And then there's your folder. To run it, all you have to do is double click on run. And that will start the cheat. Make sure you have CSGO running because we don't have support for CSGO not running uh, as of recording date. So I'm going to delete this folder. And I'm going to show you guys the next way. So the next way is to go to our GitHub repository, github.com slash gyre slash abendigo. Then go over to the release tab. Then you will be greeted with all the different releases. We only have one uh, at the time of recording. And simply hit the zip file for the download. Don't get this confused with the source code. The source code is only going to have the source code in it. You want to have the release, which is this. And it's the exact same process. You can see the same exact content uh, that you would get if you were downloading off our community. So finally, the third um, third way to get a Benigo is from getting it from the source and building it from the source. And IntelliJ makes that really easy. If you have IntelliJ open, hit checkout from version control, choose GitHub. Enter our entire repository URL and then add dot git at the end. Hit test to make sure that everything's okay. Spell everything correctly and all that. And choose a directory name for the project. The default is fine. I already have a project with that name, so I'm going to choose something different. I'll just call it uh, full. And IntelliJ is going to ask if you want to open it. Of course, you do. All right, so once you let it do its thing, you go to view, then you go to tool windows, um, show the project view. And you can see here, here's the whole source. Everything is ready for you to use. You can right click with uh, on the main file, benigo.kt, and you can choose run to start it. You can also hold control shift F10, which is the shortcut to do that. That pretty much covers it. And if you build from source, you'll always have the latest version of Abenigo. And you're also able to fix your own bugs. You're able to contribute to our repository. And you're able to make forks of the project so that you can work on it in your own way. Um, just to mention, Abenigo is free and open source software. It's non-proprietary. And you are able to resell it with your own modifications so long as your software is also non-proprietary. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, see you.